Hello, I'm David Brooke and I'm the Engineering and Asset Management Director at the RNLI. And that means I have responsibility for delivering all the equipment and buildings that the RNLI crews and lifeguards need to do their life-saving work. Today I want to show you around the All Weather Lifeboat Centre here at Poole. Now the completion of this building is just the start of a long journey in getting us to the point where we can build and look after our All Weather Lifeboat fleet efficiently and effectively. A huge number of people have been involved in getting us to this point, but there are also a large number of people who will start that hard work. And I'd like to thank a lot of those people, from the project team who've built the buildings to the workforce who are going to come into this building shortly. That's about 30 people who were originally in the Lifeboat Maintenance Centre here and have been at Cobbs Quay across the water for the last two years, continuing the work they were doing before, and about another 20 people who've been recruited. We'll also be welcoming six new apprentices here in September. The purpose of the All Weather Lifeboat Centre is to build and maintain the All Weather Lifeboat fleet. This centre will become, as it says, a centre of excellence for engineering, making sure that the boats are built to the quality and maintained to the standards that our crews require and expect. Over the next few months, as we build up to full capacity, we'll be putting in place the new systems, the new processes, the new work areas, and getting to grips with the new business system modernisation programmes and the new computer systems that we need to do full production. A lot of work has gone into that already to get ourselves to this point where we are at the moment. Uh, and that includes people designing uh, new work cells, uh, work processes, health and safety procedures, um, logistics and uh, supply uh, mechanisms, and a whole host of other areas of work. It's hard to believe that it's almost two years since we began construction on this site. Demolition of the old LMC um, was then followed by raising the site by 1.4 metres for flood protection purposes. Steelwork, nearly 750 tonnes of framework, started about a year ago and now the building is complete. But whilst the exterior of the building is quite impressive, the important things are what happens inside. As we take a look inside, it's important to recognise that the long journey of getting to the point of full efficiency is only just beginning. The team are working hard to set up their work areas, learn their new procedures and, and take things forward into the efficient and centre of excellence as we want it to be. In the first building, the composites and paint building, is where most of the work will be done to build the hulls and the superstructures, to do the strip down and obviously painting and preparing the boats. In the second building, we'll do in refit, repair and a lot of other of the cleaner type work, assembly of the boats. In the first building, we're currently doing work on the Tamar, strengthening the outer shell of the hull to make sure that those boats will last their full life in the future under the demanding conditions that they're put through. We also have three large paint bays in this building, which enable us to prepare and paint all the boats that we require, both for brand new manufacture, but also for repairs and refits. Large platforms enable the workforce to access the boats quickly and easily and safely at deck level. This is where the boats will be assembled in both buildings, workshops at ground floor and first floor mezzanine level allow quick and easy access for the workforce and the work they've carried out in the workshops directly to the boats. Both buildings are also equipped with large office suites which enables the design teams, logistics teams and those managing the fleet to work very close to the shop floor and increase the efficiency of the buildings. Both buildings are also equipped with welfare rooms where our teams can get a cup of tea and relax a lot of time and effort has gone into making sure that the environmental credentials of the Lifeboat Centre have been looked after. The new washdown facility has interceptors to ensure that no chemicals go back into the harbour. We also have a comprehensive fuel and defuel area which ensures that fuel can be managed and doesn't escape into the environment. In addition to maintaining the all-weather lifeboat fleet, we still have our responsibilities to look after the college training fleet and therefore on the left-hand side of one of the buildings we have a small inshore lifeboat maintenance facility which looks after those boats. We also store some of the relief fleet boats here ready for use and distribution to the coast. What makes the completion of the ALC a real milestone is that we are now a step closer to achieving one of our aims of our business plan. We're aiming to halve drowning around the coast of the UK and Republic of Ireland in the next five years. And essential to that is rolling out the 25 knot lifeboat fleet. And the last step in that is production of the Shannon class lifeboats. This factory will produce six boats a year for the next seven or eight years to enable us to achieve those goals. So it just leaves me to thank those people who've got us this far, but to say that I'm also looking forward to working with the teams who will make this a reality. I'm also looking forward to welcoming some of you here 
either at the open days in August or at some other opportunity. Thank you for watching.